Hi! Um, I was thinking long, you know, I want to do this. Mm. Okay, whatever. So, this video is gonna be warm up the video. I was thinking a long time to do it and I was planning how to do it, maybe like some sections, but you know what? The best is just, just do it. Uh, so, before I'm gonna show some of my favorite warm-ups and warm-ups which should work, um, I wanna say that, <laughs> you see it's my small notebook with some small information, still not forget. So, first of all, everybody has different body structure, different vocal cords, so warming up should be easy, should be delicate, gentle, relaxing. If you feel any pressure, if you feel, you know, something hurts, don't do this exercise or do it different way. Find a way to make it exercise, but maybe some other place. Um, if you have this, <coughs> also don't do it too, don't sing too much because it's, it hurts everything, our vocal cords. Um, I wanted to also say that women are also different than boys. So, um, because I'm a woman, I know how I work, how my body works. Um, if you have your days and you just you're just moody, everything is connected with our voice. If you feel you want to lie all day in bed, just lie in bed and don't sing. Relax. For our voice is as much important as exercising. But the um, the best would be if you would sing just even warming up every day just few even just few minutes because it's like stretching for a sportman sportsman um they need stretching and then they do cardio yes or then they play all day uh, it's the same with our voice it needs to be a little bit moved to sing madame butterfly or another crazy aria uh, no i'm joking but yes um, the best would be every day, a little bit, but as I said, relax is also important if you feel, if your body, your vocal cords, your throat is saying to you like, mm, you know, I don't want to sing today, don't sing, it's also okay, it's also fine. So this video is um, prepared especially for people who just start with their opera um, adventure and, all, and also for people who just want to sing who love sing, who sing, and just want to get to know a few more exercises I like, I prefer. Um, so I did this video because I get to know my vocal cords and it was a long journey and uh, it was many, many moments I didn't know what's going on. So that's why I thought maybe it can help other people. So for example, me, I have to wake up three, four hours before singing and just do you know a little bit speak and don't don't be quiet and then after those hours my vocal cords are like perfect ready i can sing c on you know nine in the morning but i have to wake up at five or six if i want to do it but i know people who wake up one hour before competition and going to the stage doing la 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 going to the stage and their voice is amazing so you just have to get to know your vocal cords this is the most important and i also think during those all years we're practicing, we have lessons, we have classes, get to know your voice, get to know your body, get to know your habits. For example, for me, Schwarz <laughs> black coffee, it's perfect. If I don't have to sing in the morning, I don't drink coffee. But if I have to sing in the morning, I drink black coffee without sugar, without milk, just black. And then I that gets rid of, and then I'm get rid of those <coughs> the morning, this you know morning. I have to check the word. I don't know even the English word for this. So yes, for me black coffee is good. For me, it's, uh, I also get to I also learn that I like cold things before singing, before warming up. So if I I'm going to school at afternoon, cold water, ice creams before concerts, ice creams or uh, cold water, and then I can warming up and then no cold stuff. Because once we're warmed up, we shouldn't drink cold things. So even if you're warming up and you have some water, put it, do this to make it warmer, because it's like with a heater. Uh, if it's warmed up and you put cold, it can broke, it can broke. So 
better than make shock to our beautiful throat. Yes, because we work with this all the time. Should I say something more? <clears throat> mm, yes, if you feel, as I said, if you feel this pain or something is disturbing to you, don't do those exercises or try other way to do them. Find some place, find, find this yes, good place what fits you. Okay, first exercise I want to show is, anybody can do it, it's super easy. If it's perfect for the morning or if you have feel something in your throat, even if you shouldn't sing, you can do it without any, <coughs> without any um, sca being scary. So, just sing whatever melody you want on... It's only to move your lips. For example, I do. Oh, I do always. I learn it's good for me. I start from C and go higher, 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 higher as much as I can. And then I'm coming back from G again because for me passaggio is on F, Fis, G. Those are my <laughs> beautiful magical notes. So I start again from G to put those high passaggio notes again again and then I go as stiff as I can even to like G or F, Fis. So you can do also and so and so and so you can do whatever you want even sing your uh, even sing your arias on this wow i saw on a video my t-shirt is very <laughs> not clean i'm sorry mom <laughs> my mom will be here but second it's very similar to the previous one but it's a tongue thrill from Rachel Willis Sorensen. It's I cover my lips to because some people you know will be exercise here, so I don't want to <laughs> spread some viruses. You do like your tongue. It have to be delicate. Again. It can be whatever you want. Third one I like to use it's um, like this. Maybe I will first show. exercise is to make this space inside your mouth like like this kind of it's space there and you put just with uh, help with your breath and if you go higher higher you just make this your space your place there little bit more more open and it's very nice because U and E are like on very different um, let's say there is a line so it's like E, E, A, U, O it's more like in the front and more in the back so U is very nice to open it and then E is more clear When you do it, for example, in the morning, it even don't have to be so clear, like it don't have to be like this. It can be a little bit deeper, a little bit lower, it's just to warm your warm up your vocal cords. Four is um, for example. 
and A. A is also a little bit in the middle, E is very close. V, you can start with V. For example, I also start exercises with V, Z, F, no, F, no, V, Z, R sometimes, because it's good to um, study also having a note or like also. They also have to be on a, also should know how to sing them on, how to sing those letters on notes. For example, in, in leads, in songs, German songs, Polish songs, any songs, they also have to be connected with breath. So I start with gently and delicate. No work here. Just belly. Next exercise number five. <clears throat> it's gonna be staccato. So we're gonna use our support. <clears throat> and it's very good also to warm up your voice. It don't have to be perfectly clear. Uh, in the morning. <laughs> I'm saying this in the morning because it's, I know like my problem. It's sometimes just still not working, but no stress, my young adults, no pressure. It's gonna warm up. It can be uh, like this. It's gonna warm up slowly, guacamole. <clears throat> so for example, For me, A uh, e is super nice. I prefer E, it's more connected, yes? So first staccato, and then the same pas passage in legato. Or legato, staccato. And I go again from C to C, and then again from G to G, whatever. chill, relaxed, only your stomach works. Number six, I also really like, <clears throat> it's going... I sing all A, E, I, O, U, uh, but I do A, E, A, I will sing. Let's, uh, breath line and also if you go lower you have to try and put your uh, voice higher and higher and higher and that's why at the end I do to still be sure that it's a good position my position is good <coughs> Also very 
very important if you do, for example, właśnie, if you do exactly, um, you're going lower and you have to keep those aliquots or even if you have another notes, they should be bright. For example, my voice is uh, from nature a little bit deeper, like, like this. So I need more work to make it more bright. So I know many people do like this, showing their teeth, but it's not good, I think. And I've heard also from many professors, don't do it. It's not, it's not good technically. People show this to show this area more. This is important to keep it, uh, to keep aliquots high, to keep your voice, your sound um, higher. Like Those bones, you know what I mean? It's not thieves. Singing like this is don't look good, don't sound good, trust me. And that helps. It's those. Your inner teeth. So yes. especially when I have just few minutes before lesson to warm up. So first is always brr, brr, like those delicate ones, maybe he, 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 he. yes, and then I do this complex exercise. It's it's hard. it's got everything and it warms up really fast, really nice. <coughs> for E. But those higher notes, uh, of course, like those somewhere here, passage on more, it's not gonna be strict to E. So I don't want to push it, I don't want any pressure, so I change it at the last ones on A. So when I start from C, the last ones are, are on E, but if I'm going higher and higher, the end of this exercise I make on A. How easy. Another one, I really like it. I've heard it one time in a core classes. Uh, so I'm saying the word wiosna. It means spring. But it's very nice because I start with Viosna. Viosna, 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 fast exercises is number eight yes it's one of those fast exercises if you don't want to sing if you can't sing long just do it this and another one it just warms up everything it makes your breath calm and you touch every note from the top to the back <laughs> With, oh, la, la, la. I have problems with my middle area voice. Uh, so listen first. Mm. What was it? <laughs> small um, work 
put my belly, but not like yeah yeah yeah. Not it just just a little bit. And I try to keep everything on this line because um, I don't know, like everybody knows. You know, imagining this, everybody imagining singing, how how where well, however you want. But I imagine my voice, for example, it has like those three holes. The lowest one, till for me, is like for G, F, where the facade starts. For F, F, G, yes, the lowest one I have, which I have. It goes like really, this my, this my line is very here, it's very strong. When it's passaggio, it's this thing here. So it's a little bit different room. It can be so strong, but it can be so like um, in a head, like those high ones, like A, B, H. Uh, so this exercise it's for this lower one so for like lower and the middle for me so it's F and it's really strong it's a little bit too strong for me um, I know when I, I'm doing this and I want to try those uh, because it's really good also to like connect, you know, your lower notes and higher notes. So when I do it with the uh, high notes, I change the last ones with A. Mm, okay. But um, mostly I practice only like middle part on this and the lower one. It's really, really good for this one line. Tenth exercise I also do, I also like. It's also this kind of morning delicate exercises. It's only... To be also clear you don't have to sing those notes it's very delicate here you i work of course breath also is those two chaps a little bit but it's also here to rid of this <coughs> what is the word i have to change high high so high notes they sound really ridiculous sometimes but it's really nice to and so on and so on you see it sounds sharp and it's weird but for me it works it uh, it moves like it moves those bad substances in my throat and just makes it delicate but if you feel any pressure, if it's like any any harm for your voice, for your don't don't do it. It's very delicate. Oh, 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 e, e, e. Very delicate. Yes, so those are my favorite ones. I do them almost every day. Every 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 one of them. Almost every day. But it's also really nice. To create some for example if I have my days and I feel my voice is like this all the time or it's like this after a week of hard singing or something warm up and create try to you know feel what your throat needs what your vocal cords need what would be nice to make it calm as I said those first ones and they're perfect even if you have like disgusting um, a disease or something, it's just delicate, do anything with your, no harm. Um, yes, so I did some of those exercises like this, you know, I've heard something or I tried something and then I thought, mm, I will add some staccato at the end or I will go higher there. And now it just works for me, I know it's good. So really don't be scared of warming up. I'm saying this also because I had this problem at the beginning. When I was going to sing to my lesson, I thought my throat is going to be perfect. But it's not sometimes. It's like, 
oh, like this or like this or like this pain or like you feel this it's totally fine especially when you sing more and more like me years after years after years and singing kind of regularly it's getting easier trust me i didn't know it when i was younger that's why i was stressed i was pushing or trying to find you know some other place where the sound should be it should be like this i should be like this no just relaxed here everything is fine you work with your belly with your breath mm, yes and it's just gonna come yes so that would be it um i said one two three four five the names for those exercises is not um it's i don't do them this way like one two three four five it, i do this 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 depends on the day of course but I named them, if you would have some more questions about them, how to do it, or if you have problem with some of them, you can write, um, you know, in comments or write some private message to me to explain more about it. How exactly it works here, how exactly I feel here. I'm here for help. I am doing this video to help you. So I hope it's going to be good opportunity for you to try something new and learn something new and remember voice is our friend relax is relax get to know your habits your vocal cords how it works and trust me that's so important it's way easier and easier year after year don't be scared don't feel stressed it's really easier and easier especially if you sing more and more and more often the throat is going to used to it and and with a clicking technique and all everything it goes better so face <laughs> i think it was so chaotic but maybe you will understand if not tell me <laughs>